you looking for ways to make your next family road trip amazing? Today, I wanna to share with you my top five tips of how to make your next family road trip a success. Hi, I'm Sam, the Budget Family Travel Mama. I am here sharing everything that I've learned in my 12 years of counting with you of how to travel with your family on a budget. Based on this video, you're probably searching for ways to make your next family road trip awesome. Well, I'm going to share with you my top five tips to make your next family road trip a success. Tip number one is to pack snacks. Now, everyone knows that you need to pack snacks when you're traveling. However, it's the way that I pack snacks that makes this tip valuable. When we're going on trips, I like to pack my kids' snacks in one big gallon Ziploc bag so that they have all of their treats with them throughout the trip. They know that they have the accountability to do with those treats what they want, but when they're gone, they are gone. Now, if we're going on a multiple day road trip, I will pack more than one bag, but usually one of those gallon bags will last a day or two. So plan accordingly, you know what your kids need. Another tip with your snacks is if you pack high protein snacks, your kids will tend to stay fuller longer. So if you've got a long stretch of road before lunch, maybe plan on taking like some cheese, sticks or some jerky or something that's a little bit higher protein content so that they can make it that longer gap before they're saying mom i want lunch number two is something that we do whether we're actually flying or we're traveling in the car and that is to make sure that you have a blanket and a pillow accessible for your kids i don't know if your kids are like fine but my kids have that one blanket that they love that they take everywhere and we pack that next to them, whether it's behind them or on the floor or on the side of them. We have one for each of our kids and then a pillow so that they can sleep fairly comfortably. This just helps promote them sleeping on the trip, which you and I both know when they're asleep, it's amazing. And the trip goes a lot faster if you're sleeping. Tip number three is to take longer pit stops. We make a point of making our vacation start when we leave our house. As soon as we get in the car, we're on vacation. If you're gonna do that, you might as well make your road trip part of your vacation. So plan out a couple of stops. We have found that if we take these longer pit stops and stop at a park or have like a river trail or something that the kids can get out and run around, go to the bathroom, they're much more likely to want to get back in the car and keep going. We usually try to plan these around where our gas station stops are gonna be and then find a park or something that's nearby so it doesn't take us a ton of time off the road. Tip number four is a trick that I learned pretty early on. I started to get the kids a surprise. Sometimes that was a movie that they could both watch together. Sometimes it's a little trinket or a toy. Oh. He's playing his new game, Tetris. All right. I'm playing with my new twisty pets. <laughs> something that will keep them occupied for those first couple hours of the trip because it's new and exciting and they want to play with it. This also leads into my tip number five, which is electronics. In my family, we don't do a lot of electronics when we're at home. However, when we go on a trip, woohoo, it's electronics time. My kids love it. And we make sure that we take a DVD player with us we do not have a DVD system in our vehicle, but I spent $45 and got a dual head DVD player that plays individual movies. My son can watch a movie while my daughter and my toddler are watching something else. And it makes the trip so much more enjoyable, not only for them, but for me as well, because I don't have them bickering and fighting at each other. You all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bonus tip for this, I want to remind you that you're gonna want to get a nice quality pair of headphones. I prefer to get the ones that go around their ears just because they're a little bit more comfortable and then if they fall asleep, there's nothing like stuck in their ear while they're sleeping. All right, these are my top five tips. Thanks so much for watching. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button down below. And if you're interested in our future videos, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thanks so much for taking a walk with us down to Anderson Lane today. We'll talk to you again next time. Bye.